All right, it's a beautiful January day, the 4th of January, 2023. There is a shipwreck here coming out. Uh, it was more visible just uh, during the low tide, but uh, Jenny over here, she is back in town. She's still here. Last we checked with Jenny. And to the right is the launch site. And I was going to say Embryo Space Inc., but that is, in fact, SpaceX in that direction. Uh, my company is Embryo Space Inc. You can invest. Just reach out to me. Anyway, um, here we go. <laughs> we have... We won't be subtle about it. <laughs> there is a shipwreck here. It is... Jenny was saying it's on the... Say more about it. Say it's on some type of thing here. It's on like a... So right now it's protected as a historical site. There's no... Uh, signage and there's nothing that says that it's a historical site however if you follow like uh, Google searches and stuff you'll see that it, it has shipped itself for eight years at one point it came up and the local people had a chance to, to see it and when I was here right before Christmas it wasn't here and then two days later it was like a miracle I came down uh, after Christmas and it was just out of the water my daughter and I before Christmas had just walked along the top beams all you could see is the top beams so it's all right, so um, the, there was a big kind of a storm kind of thing here, and we're just uh, maybe a mile um, south along the beach here. Uh, there was a lot of, so the storms uh, took a lot of the sand away from, a lot of the dunes got reshaped here along the, the coast. So that's how, we're probably about uh, four or five feet lower down on the ground now. So I'll just walk a little bit over here to the, uh, thing and we'll walk around I'll walk around this is just a kind of re first recording of this Jenny was saying I think uh, the 1980s or something is when it was last maybe exposed possible possible, possible. possible. do you know the there's name there's two different ones so okay it's, it's a discrepancy if it was that one in the 80s or this one there really isn't a whole lot of great documentation and uh, I've talked to a few local people but no one that actually lives here that is local that isn't part of a historical preservation that I've talked to really had no idea this even existed so it would be like something new for the local people to even understand was in their backyard as because it's been like a generation a couple generations you know since it's been out uh, so I'm gonna walk up to it and we'll check it out a little bit more um, So, um, so it's hard to tell if this is the end or if, if this is the what is it, steer and bow? Yeah. Steer and bow. It's hard to tell right now just from the way it sits, which is the steer and which is the bow. However, over here in this part is where I found the engine part. And it has oil in it and stuff. So the people that I did talk to about it already said it could be 1800s. Where the type of oil that was in the little whatever that was. It's in the back of my truck. <laughs> it would either be from the 1800s or... Uh, early 1920s could have been if they refabbed the ship if it was a ship they reused I'm on it's camera nice. now forgot to get okay. myself on camera okay it's you want to look at the condition of it because that's yep. a, a factor so when you look at preserving something you have to look at the style of condition that it's in and this isn't in bad condition at all there's only been four that have of 165 known if you look at it, like I can't pull it off as hard as I go. That's a big thing. It can't pull off. It is, uh, I can push it in about an eighth of an inch, like is how absorbent it is of whatever the wood is. Woo yeah. <laughs> and then you can tell the wood dowels on the side, so you can see that piece in the crap and shit. The other side's fascinating because you can see the hole. It from that way. It might be too deep though. You might have to come back. So that's one of the dowels there, and that's in more spaces along this. So it's definitely a strong structure. And um, the weirdest part, if you come down here, you can see someone's cut it. So someone it's what? Been, it's been cut. Okay. So we're in the ship now. I'll come back during a low tide. We'll get that's a better. Cut. 
Okay, so it's been cut somehow. I don't, it's not now though because there's enough stuff on it. That piece right there was cut. And there's a couple pieces down there where you can see it's flat across that it's been cut, but not from this round. So earlier today it was lower tide and we could see more about it. So the the, the tide is coming in and um, maybe we'll get another shot during the other low tide. Yeah, you'll be able to see the cut and it's all cut there straight oh, yeah. across. We could see that right there. There's some type of cut. All right. And uh, this thought that this might go down several feet, maybe yeah. uh, seven or more feet. So and uh, be interesting yes it will yep. that's it that's the update there we go first update so first it's the update. first it's not really an first update but. should we like throw water behind her for like good luck mm -hmm. like what's the pirate good luck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hold on i'll keep your right. uh swashbucklers <laughs> starbase swashbucklers all right over and there out. we go